school to go. <laughs> but we're not here to have fun. <laughs> We've got a serious score to settle. We've been in the shadow of one man for too long. And we came here tonight to step back into the spotlight. The problem is there's six of us. And we know you've all got your favourites. Yes, everyone always wants to know who's the most important wife. And they've been arguing about it for centuries. We've heard it all. shall be first place. The most inglorious is victorious. The winning contestant was the most protestant. <laughs> protestant. <laughs> but tonight, we came here to answer your questions once and for all. Man, take what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> to know. <laughs> That's right. We're going to help you figure out which one of us is. The queen of the castle. The rose among the thorns. And Thomas Cromwell amongst the royal ministers between 1532 and 1532. <laughs> but how the purgatory are they going to choose their leading lady? Hold up! If this is going to be a fair competition, they're going to have to judge us on the one thing we all got in common. The one to take the crown should be the one who had the biggest. The firmest. The fullest. Load of BS to deal with from the man who put a ring on it. So, London, we're going to hold a little contest for you. And the rules are simple. The queen who was dealt the worst hand. The queen with the most hardships to withstand. The queen for whom it didn't really go as planned. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Can you somebody hang me? <laughs> <laughs>
I loved him. So, Henry. You've got a good heart, but I know it changes. A restless tide, untamable.
What hurts more than a broken heart? <laughs> Severed head. <laughs> now, seeing as Henry was running out of women to marry in England, he had to look a little further afield. He had to adjust his location settings, if you will. <laughs> to find his next queen, we're heading to Germany, where he enlisted the help of the legendary painter,
didn't live up to his expectations. I mean, it's the usual story, isn't it? The savvy, educated, young princess, deemed repulsive by the wheezing, wrinkled, ulcer-riddled man 24 years her senior. <laughs> rejection, rejection from a king. How could anyone overcome a fate as devastating as being forced to move into a resplendent palace in Richmond? <laughs> Get down, you dirty rocks! Get down! 
all right. I probably won't win then. Oh, well, back to the palace! So, now there's one horse out of the race. Rude. Let's just take a moment to commiserate Anna on the loss of the competition. And speaking of loss, let's also take a moment to commiserate my son on the loss of his mother. <laughs> if that doesn't capture the audience's hearts, then I don't know what will. Uh, how about the loss of the sacred bond given to you by God? That's compromised. How about the loss of my head? <laughs> and you know what? I think it's time we have my next queen, Kay Howard. Sorry, who? Oh yeah, you remember the least relevant Catherine. <laughs> We 
with me. Wow, oh, yeah, being manipulated by men and paying the price. None of us could possibly imagine what that might Oh, wait, yeah, I did experience that. Yeah, for like the last five minutes of your marriage, Anne. Men have manipulated me from day one. I was literally shipped over from a foreign country, not knowing a single word of English, to marry some random dude. Oh my god, same! <laughs> you ever 
every day. Oh, I love you, boy. I wish that I could stay with you and keep the life I made with you. And even though this feels so bright, Right. 
So we can sing our hearts out and get down like it's fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> but if we hadn't have married her, maybe eight, no one would want to hear our stories. And so each of our solos end up as backing vocals on Henry's greatest hits. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't there a bigger problem here? The dissolution of the monasteries. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm talking about us. Because when we get together as a group, <gasps> that bit was One of his wives. One of. Six. Oh, do I get it? Since the only thing we have in common is our husband, grouping us is an inherently comparative act and as such necessarily elevates a historical approach in greater patriarchal structures. <laughs> yeah. I read. without him being there to answer back. Exactly. Well, if only there was some way that we could like all be together in the same place at the same time with like, I don't know, 400 people to finally listen to us speak for ourselves or maybe even sing. Seeing 
as it's our show, we can have whatever ending we want. Lenton, seeing as you've been such a great audience, we've decided to give you our own, um, slightly edited version of what actually went down all those years ago. Because after all, we're one of a kind, no category, two many years lost in history, we're free to take a crowning glory, for Shoot a bunch of us. I'm just kidding. We're cool.